So what I'm going to do is go to, uh, so, uh, let's go, let's go. I get to my phone to discuss that because thankfully God built me the way that he built me, but I, I'm not sure, you know, based on this person's claims and, and brags, um, that he's literally got at the same time this person was sexually sexually harassing me for years um he was claiming you know that he had multiple young black men on the payroll and they just had to show up when he was when he requested them to be there and clearly that's why it was it felt to him that it was okay to say these things and i I really i want to have these discussions i want to be transparent with y'all about that i've done my best to forgive this person but it happens it happens. Um, it's not just women that have to deal with it, but it's also men sometimes. And it'll be men tempting men. And that's why a lot of my posts over the last few years have been about taking the scenic group, you know, taking a long way around because if that means that you can carry your integrity with you, then and it's 11 11 thank you heavenly father for another opportunity to connect with you um please forgive my sins my shortcomings my bad decisions and my mistakes um please continue to guide and protect us as only you can everybody that's watching um it's not a presentation if i see 11 11 i try to have another conversation with god so thank you heavenly father i appreciate you we love you Thank you. Jesus Christ, name we pray, man. Um, that's interesting. But there are, there are um, people that will and have and will continue to, unfortunately, offer these things. And some of them are your heroes. Some of them are people who y'all like, oh yeah, such and such is amazing, and he does this, and he does that. Yeah, but he also does this and that. I, uh, at some point soon, it's going to have to come out. <laughs> I've kept one of these on me since 05. Um, whether it's a keychain recorder or a pen, because most predators would check your phone. And once the sexual harassment started, I was like, well, I need to, I, I gotta protect me because. I'm saying no, and I don't want this person, as powerful as they are, to okay. try to get in the way of my work. So I started recording. So I have them offering me money to take my clothes off. Mm. I have recordings when I wasn't working with them or for them. Um, I have recordings of them confessing that, you know, the other guys that they have on the payroll, all of the above. Um, and the difference is the wonderful thing about confidentiality agreements and non-disclosure agreements is that they can't prevent you from turning all of those things over to the police because sexual harassment is a crime. Attempted sexual assault is a felony. And 
Tams, you literally just asked, why do we as black people have to deal with that? But sometimes it's our own people. Sometimes it's our own heroes. It's the, sometimes it's the very people we deify. And we look up like, oh, they're doing so much. They're doing so much. No, they're also doing this. And my only reservation about naming the people, you know, there was directors along the way like, hey, you know, you read for this, that, and the other. You want to come back up to the apartment? I'm like, nah, mm. I'm good. You got my headshot and my resume, and I'm good. You know if I can handle that or not. You know I can kill that, but I'm not, I don't need to come up to your apartment. We already had the audition. There's other people that I want to say everything. And my brother was like, nah, not yet. I want to tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. I want to speak on it. And the good news is that they don't even have to believe me. Hopefully they would, but even if they don't, they can hear this person. Since sexual harassment started, I've carried many recorder devices on me, keychains, pens, um, thumb drives with a, a charge battery that get six, seven, eight hours, all of the above. So I have the conversations. I really want to air that, that shit out because it bothers me when I'm alone at night. Like, man, they, the world is celebrating this person and they don't mm -hmm. even know mm -hmm. the shady and predatory way in which this person moves and the way that, you know, predators resent the prey that gets away. So when you don't say yes, when you don't say, okay, I'll acquiesce and, you know, sign up and literally and figuratively play ball. So we're not doing that. Mm -hmm. They resent you. Mm -hmm. This is a conversation we're going to have and we're going to have some because... So I'm going to try to find a... I'll be back. They resent the prey they got away. They resent the prey they got away. The prey that didn't fall. The prey that didn't acquiesce and, and say, okay, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and take this L and sacrifice my morals for this opportunity. Mm -hmm. That was around the time that I was considering going back to Michigan. 08, 09, because work was slow and the work that was coming was, was offered with a side of penis. And yeah, that don't do nothing for me. I'm back for y'all team. So, um, yeah, I, at some point soon, I've spoken with my attorney trying to figure out how to deal with it. It's never been about money. I, I literally intentionally let the statute of limitations pass. It's not about money or being able to sue. But at some point, really soon, the police report is going to be filed and I'll turn over the recordings of the inappropriate behaviors and the inappropriate offers and I'll turn over the paperwork for the car that was bought as an apology for offering me a hundred thousand dollars to take my clothes off and y'all can hear him his voice is very distinctive and I want to I want to empty I'm tired of carrying this shit there's a reason now why I fight more than ever when somebody wrongs me and why I almost too aggressively speak up is because I wasn't brave enough to then. And I, I regret not being able to be strong enough and I resent 
that part of me that wasn't strong enough to speak up about it. It's taking everything in me not to air out everything and put all the recordings online, put all the paperwork and the PDFs online. Uh, there's no reason that this person's company would be on the bill of sale for a vehicle unless it's right after the time stamped recording of him offering me a hundred grand to take my clothes off. He said, I don't have to touch you. I just want to see you naked. I'm like, what the fuck? What? Like, you know, I'm not into that. I don't, I don't fuck around like that. I don't do that. What the fuck? What? Leave. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Get out. I thought you were my brother and my friend. And this definitely has nothing to do with my brother who's in here. Be clear. I thought this person was a brother type figure, a mentor, mentor type figure. But for you to continuously throw these opportunities, you know good and damn well, all it ever was, was you pretending to be a mentor trying to get some ass. That'll never happen. I don't bat for that team. Yeah, but I gotta get off of here and talk to my brother because I'm I'm so fucking close to just airing everything out. I'm just dumping everything online in the morning. I'm tired, man. I'm not forgiving myself. I didn't do anything wrong. Mm -hmm. I wasn't brave enough back then because somebody mm -hmm. said, forgive yourself. KG... It's, it's heavy on my heart, man, and I'm tired. And we around here deifying people that go out and do this, and mm -hmm. I'm going I'm to do this, and I'm going to pay off this, and I'm going to pay off that, and I'm going to pay off that. But at the same time, these same people are predators. Monsters. I'm not. Blaming myself for saying no i'm not blaming myself for almost quitting acting i'm just mad at me for not being brave enough to say something sooner that's the only thing that i regret i wish i'd have been brave enough i'm him now that's the only thing that i regret i wish i'd have been brave enough i'm him now I'm I, I know who I am. I know who God built me to be. And I'm not afraid of those consequences. My concern is that a lot of y'all are going to be like, man. And your immediate reaction is going to be like, oh, well, we got to protect our deity. We got to protect. It, it's going to have to happen. I'm interested to see which peers are mad at me because it may interfere with their work. But, yeah. You get a grown-ass man that knows that you're heterosexual and you're sleeping off Hennessy in his guest room because he says it's safe. Because, you know, I know I'm bad, so I don't... After a big party, won't say what type, won't say where. I'm sleep. I'm I'm gone because I'm four five Hennessy's deep and not sure Hennessy's either. And this dude tries to climb into bed with you, so you spaz out, push him out, like what the fuck? Get ready to leave. He apologizes, blame it on the alcohol. And you try to forgive him. So you're like, all right, man. All right, I'm gone. You shake his hand on the way out, and he tries to grab your penis. He tries to shake and grab your equipment. And 
you spaz even more. I'm like, what the fuck you doing, man? What the fuck you? What the fuck? Oh, my bad, my bad. So you go to leave. He tries to do it again. Now, at that point, my only regret is not breaking multiple bones in this person's face. Mm -hmm. Like beating the dog shit out of this person, right? Because that's available to me at all times. That inner grizzly bear is always available, but in the moment, I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? And one of the but you got a guy that's a billionaire and I got three grand in my bank account. Who do you going to believe? Right? I got that three grand. That's. He says that. Um, yeah, he's right. Who are they going to believe as well? Is who are they going to help? Because he has three grand. Another guy has one billion. Yeah, let that sink in. You know what I mean? He's rich. He's not. Who are they going to help? My son's mom's rent for next month. You know, got to make sure little man's taken care of. That's my rent. And that's... A little bit for the gas tank and the rest of it, I can go to the dollar store and get some bread and bologna and hot dogs and mustard. And, and, you know, I can get by. Work was slow and a lot of the work that was coming was, it had penis attached to it. I'm like, fuck that, man. I'm not, that's not what I want. That's not what I'm about to do. I regret not speaking up then, not being brave enough to, and I regret not hurting this person. Because I'm a, I'm a, I had a big heart. Mother had a big heart. Mother's heart was just big as Flint, Michigan. She was like a little, little, little yellow boy. You finna come and you gonna be a part of my family. And I always try to think about things, you know, and not lash out, even though I wanted to. If you don't want to. You can see the kids. I'm going to go ahead and stop the guys. Um, you can see him. The tear is it's very emotional. And no, I don't think he's fibbing and lying about some. First of all, uh, there was a couple of dudes that was in his, um, in his Instagram. Edit me for and was giving him um, the eggplant size. And he was like, please, can you stop that? Because I'm not with that. So I think a long story short, a long time ago, he was professing, you know, he, he's heterosexual. And of course, heterosexual or gay, looking with respect to everyone's, or, you know, looking at everyone's sexuality, this is not meant to attack anyone. I'm just, you know, so I want to make that clear. He's just stating who he is. And when I look at this, you can see this man, the tears in his eyes. You can see them welling up with water. Let me see if I can pull it up again. The video is still going yet. But you can see the tears in his eyes and them welling up with water there. And I'll try to do a... I think I can pull it up again here. Yeah. Where we were at. I'm mad at me for not hitting him. I'm mad at me for not speaking up and saying something. And you can see, you can hear the emotion in his voice, you know? So we know uh, in the recordings, he's saying he has recordings. So with recordings, you can't really say someone's lying. But uh, yeah, we wish him well. I can see the tears will young black actors have fell for that. That's sad. How many of them, and you can hear him say it on, on, you can hear him on the, on the conversations. He's talking about his recordings. How crazy. At least you want to be smart and carry a pen everywhere. 
<laughs> I'm not sure about California's two consent law, but, uh, well, you'd have to read that, but someone's threatening you. Oh, it seemed just to have that, you know, to show that. And in a work environment, I don't, I don't think he's in the wrong. Wow. This is, this is powerful. And you know, the upcoming days, we're going to see something. I pray for him deeply. All the best um, for the Lord's protection. It's good that he aired it to a bunch of people so they know what's going on, me and you. And uh, yeah, do me a favor, whatever video you see of his, like it. And like this video while you're here. And um, comment. And subscribe that does help the algorithm to get it to reach more people we need people like mr christian keys and mrs um cassie why do i forget her last name i'm sorry cassie to break away from that environment whatever the cost and say i will not sacrifice my morals and bring these stories to the forefront along with the rest of you that may have stories to bring to the forefront about someone evil instead of appeasing them laughing with them and god knows what else uh sticking to your values sticking to who god made you because you're just as important and um and you know just calling them out I'm like no th this is all a tv moment but this is not really the person that this tv moment and who they say they are it's not a that's not who they are. So he has not named anyone yet, but um, as much as we're rooting for him and we're agreeing with him to name, it's timing. It's on his timing. And I, I'm, I know and I feel he has that uh, you never know what a victim is going through, that care for other possible, possible victims and possible people that um have endured whoever this is you know advances that were not welcome or whatever is going on you know no he, he this is wrong to be done just because you have something you push people around it's wrong uh, may justice prevail and all the faucets of justice prevail. Okay, so thank you all for watching. And until next time, like I said, I think we're we're going to have a busy month the, for the rest of this month and possibly next week with this. Wow. Is it wow? Is it shocking? I don't know. I, I'd never consider Hollywood even if I was offered. Even if it was a million dollars. I'm serious. I, I, I wouldn't, cons it's, mm, I don't think so. I, I would, if you got to be surrounded by a group like that, no, thank you. All right, everyone, until next time, thank you. Thanks for watching.